talking about the Middle East. Hang on just a moment. You said you, you're against these draconian ideas. I didn't say I But said, have you ever been to draconia? I just said, if you, if you haven't missed here, I said the reason the government are passing draconian legislation yeah. because they're using the concept of the of the Muslim bogeyman. The bogeyman's kind of bloody will come to get you later on tonight and it's going to lop your head off on the way to the store. That's the type of thing that's going on. It's all about the bogeyman and what the bogeyman does, it generates public fear. I don't mind Australia giving humanitarian aid, but not, not going off and bloody killing people with bombs. That, that, that's a no-no. What if someone was coming and killing us? There's no one coming to get you. The only one you think's coming to fucking get you is the Islamic bogeyman. That's the one they think is coming to get you. And what if some, one if a race did come and attack us? Do you think we'd like someone to come well, and help well, us? Well, what if, what if? You can go on, what if we win the... Oh, that's right. There's no one coming to get us. It's all about the, 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 the bogeyman and generating public fear. That's what the politicians want. And then they say, well, we're looking after you.